Jeff Johnson here on another edition of Clerk TV, and I have the honor of speaking with Debbie Sermons, who is the Clerk of Court in Brantley County. Debbie, how are you? I am wonderful. Yes, thank you for doing this. You know, I've seen you walking around, and you know, because at the conference, and you're talking to everybody, and I think we've been trying to get you on for a while, right? Ah, uh, yes, sir. And yes, guess sir, what? We lassoed you. <laughs> <laughs> we got you in now. Now we can talk. Okay. But it's a pleasure to be able to talk to you a little bit. All right. Thank Let's you. talk a little bit first off, as I do with everybody. We want to kind of give the viewers an idea of where Brantley County is and kind of how many people are there, that kind of a thing. Okay, well, we're located basically right in between Brunswick and Waycross, mm -hmm. which is Glen County, um, oh, Glen County and Ware County. Okay. But we're, we're located dead slap in the middle almost on the beautiful Satilla River. So it's just it's just a wonderful place, See, great place. Well, that area down there is super pretty anyway. Mm -hmm. Great, um, I mean, just the, the land and everything else. Would you consider it more of a rural economy or an agricultural economy down there or what? Rural, we're, okay. I mean, we have farm. Oh, we sure, have farm, sure. But, but we're just a, a small rural area right. with almost say 18.5, you know, gotcha. uh, population, but wonderful, great people. Let me ask you something. Great. I didn't ask you this before while we were talking. Were you born and raised there? No, sir. Where are you from? I am, was born and basically raised in Atkinson County. Oh, now where's Atkinson County? <laughs> that's, that's the other side of Ware County. <laughs> but Atkinson County, um, my dad was a law officer. Oh. So I was actually raised in the courthouse in, in Atkinson County. Uh, he was a deputy sheriff mm -hmm. for Mr. Bryant Taft and Mr. Earl Haskins, wow. who were sheriff. They, we called them uncle, uh -huh. you know, but we lived in the, on the top floor of the courthouse because Seriously? that was living quarters and my mother fed the prisoners. So, and when I was four wow. years old, I was, I decided um, to walk the edge of um, the claw-footed bathtub. Yeah. And I fell and burst my kidney, it, it burst. I had to have surgery. Oh um, but um, no, the courthouse is my home. You know, we was raised. Right. The people that worked in the courthouse, mm -hmm. clerk, probate judge, sheriff, tax commissioner, they were all my aunts and uncles. So as coming up, not blood related, but just we I, saw I know what you're talking day. about. You're I right. know, <laughs> any of the adults that were around me when I was growing up, even if we were not blood related, they were either my aunt, they're my aunts and uncles. That's right. But they looked out for you. That's they're, exactly they're, that's your right. Family. Mm -hmm. So you really come from an, a family or a tradition right. of law of the courts of serving yes why why is being the clerk so important to you from that perspective oh i've just been blessed mm -hmm. blessed to be put in this position i've worked in the clerk's office since 02 i came back wow. when when tony ham who was a clerk prior uh, -huh. uh he had asked me back i had worked in the clerk's office from about 92 to 98 when my mom got sick so i he asked me to take a leave, but I said, no, I don't know how long I'm going to be out. Right. So um, anyway, when he called in 02 and asked me if I would come back in 03, I said, oh, please, please just let me. So you, you came know. back at just working in the clerk's office then? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, so how long did you do that? I worked from 02 to January of 2017 is when I became clerk of Superior Court. So this is my first <laughs> term as clerk. Oh my goodness. But I've been there a lot, a lot of years. What does it mean so, to you to be the clerk? Oh, it's, it's a blessing. Uh, love the people, love, I'm not a politician. I'm a public servant. There is a difference. There is a big what's the, what's difference. What's the difference to you with that? I can't promise you what I'm going to try to do, what I can do, but I can promise to help you where I can. If you walk in my office, we're going to try our best. Me as clerk and my staff mm -hmm. are going to try our best to when you walk out, you say, man, that was the nicest people we have just left. You know, I know, because you, you know, as we talked about, 
a lot of times when people come to the clerk's office, they're not necessarily in the most fun state of mind. Sometimes not. Yeah, but but it sounds as though you've laid down a kind of a, 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 a way that everybody thinks in your office how to treat people. Why is that so important for your staff to be able to do that on a consistent basis? That's what we do. That's what we do. We love people. We love up on you. We hug you. Oh, okay. You know, we, we, just, we, just, we just love ser serving the public. So, you know. so with that said, you guys, you know, I, I've always been so impressed with all the clerks and from my education of what you guys do. And I've come to this conclusion, which I'm sure you've heard before, hopefully. You're the keepers of history. Yes, sir. You really are in your neck of the woods. Yes, sir. You got it all. Deeds, all the other kind of stuff Deeds, like that. Deeds, liens, plats. All of that kind yes. of stuff. That kind of thing is so important. Why, how have you been able to, to get that message across to the folks that work with you and to the citizens of your county? Why it's so important to keep that history? Well, it is very important. It, um, we first are the keeper of the court records. Okay, right, right. Of the court right. records, we keep those for our judgeships, you okay. know, for our judges. Yes. But the history part is when you go into real estate and you have somebody come in, grandmother has left them some property, <laughs> and if, if you give us the name, we can basically trace that back wow. to when great-grandmother or grandfather had it, or you'll say, who was that? You know, we do have a lot of, what are the people that call, what? That, that do the, the oh, like going have, back and researching genealogy? There you go. <laughs> Look there out. you and go. We're playing Jeopardy now. Genealogy. What other things can we come up with? Hey, but man, no. Clark TV, we come up with all kind of great stuff. <laughs> but yeah, genealogy. Yeah, I mean, you can trace that back, but our real estate, if if you lose a record, it's here. We have the permanent yes. record. So now, now, here's something that we talked about, too, and I always, it, this answer always gets me. Technology has made, been a major uh, improvement to what you do. Yes. When you started, what was it like? When I first started in the clerk's office, <laughs> you hand wrote all your subpoenas, all your summonses, all your jury checks. Yeah. You know, so technology has been a godsend you on know that. What? Oh, I mean, just time, time saver. 100%. Your appeals, you know, mm -hmm. we had training this week on appeals. I mean, all your appeals, you used to have to copy number of the pages, da 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 da, -da. and now in about a couple of hours, you got this done. Oh, it's done fantastic. and gone. Yeah, it's fantastic. It, it really and helps it everybody is. along the way. You know, your staff, like you were saying, you were talking about how they 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 treat them. What makes you? What gives you? Makes you feel good about them. Why are they so good? And why do you guys work so well together? I have the greatest staff in the world. You know, I have two awesome criminal clerks. Anybody can call needing anything. And they're Johnny on the spot. Wow. I have a real estate clerk that is just the bomb. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, we call her our real estate guru. <laughs> but that real estate liens and flats and my civil clerk, my juvenile clerk, they're, they're just Right. Could you get your job done without them? No. No, I've no, knew it. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Not even close. No, sir. Good. Mm -mm. See, that's what it's all about. Yeah, right that's there. right. It really, truly We work is. as a team. If you could look through the years, and let's let's concentrate on the years you've been clerk, and it's only been what a couple years now, right? That's right. What is your greatest accomplishment so far? Oh, I really don't know. Yeah. I mean, just being, I am very humbled by the people putting me in the spot. Just very blessed to be working with the people and to see the people that I see every day or those that need help of some type, some kind. And then they get that help. Yeah. See, yes. It, that's what a that would be a my does. greatest accomplishment as far as being able to help the people that come in my office. That is fantastic. Yeah. So I got I got to ask you another question, and you, we can do that again in just a second. 
Okay. We always talk about all the other stuff, you know, the, the, in the office and all the things. What are some of your hobbies? What do you like to do that people wouldn't know about that's fun? And here I am, y'all, you see me out in the community, I'm having fun. What do you like to do? My grandbabies. Watching my grandbabies. There they go. Yeah. How many do you have? I have two. How old? I actually May I ask? have three, but it, one's grown. Oh. The age is grown. <laughs> we just see him Thanksgiving and Christmas. Hey. But he's wonderful. Okay. He's wonderful. Uh, but Jaron, he is eight, and Cora, she is two. Oh, so now we have a we have a little we call it the river lot. We have a little river lot right. there, and me and Jerry Bug, man, we can go down there and fish. Fine turtle, it is frogs, all, it tadpoles. Is family, obviously, is right. very important. To you. Very important. Well, that yeah. is what it, that is what's all what it is all about. Mm -hmm. This is your time. This is the time I want you to just look in the camera. You said it before, but this time you can say it again right into the camera to your citizens. Oh, to the people of Brantley County, I am so humbled that you placed me in the position that you have, and I hope that I have done a well enough job that you will put me back in there in the upcoming election and let me continue doing what I love, serving the people of Brantley County. Thank you so much for being here with us. Oh, we do appreciate you. it. And folks, thank you for joining us on another edition of Clark TV.